What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Writing Tips, where I break down tropes and archetypes from your favorite stories in the hopes that you can learn a little bit more about writing. Today we're looking at the knight in sour armor archetype. So you have a character who's a knight in shining armor, right? They're good, they're pure, they're honorable, they help old ladies cross the street, they never run red lights, and in their spare time, they save cats out of trees, the whole nine yards. These knights in shining armor are idealists who believe in truth and justice, and they devote their lives to fighting the good fight in the world. And the world just keeps on letting them down. For these guys, being good sucks. But rather than give up on their beliefs, these characters will replace their shiny suit of armor with a full plate of pure cynicism. These characters realize that they live in a dark, cruel, and brutal world. And they keep on fighting the darkness, not because they believe it will truly make a difference, but because it's the right thing to do. It's easy to love people when they treat you well, but you really have to be a good person to acknowledge that human beings are trash and you still want to protect them anyways. The knight in sour armor's philosophy is that just because the world sucks, that doesn't mean you have to make it worse. A knight in sour armor is usually a survivor who has largely given up on believing in honor, but still strives to be a good person or as close to it as reality allows them to be. They're willing to bend the rules to save them, and they'll only break those rules when it's absolutely necessary. A knight in sour armor often has their own personal set of rules, a code that's trimmed down to the principles that really matter in order to minimize conflicts and distractions. This cynical code of honor contributes to the knight in sour armor's gruff personality, since social skills and polite behavior tend to be at the bottom of their priority list. Generally, knights in sour armor come in two flavors of origin. Number one, a wide-eyed idealist who has come to accept that the world sucks, but they still find something meaningful in their former ideals that they want to hold on to. Or number two, they're just natural born pessimists who have nevertheless devoted themselves to a code of honor or fair play. It's not uncommon for this second type of knight in sour armor to be an anti-hero. In either case, these characters have gone through some pretty rough trials to get where they are today. They come from backgrounds that are saturated with pain, and that's why they've been molded into the skeptic that they are now. Regardless of which flavor they are, the knight in sour armor is a former knight in shining armor who now has a jaded perspective of the world. Let's take a look at just a couple of examples of the knight in sour armor archetype. Jessica Jones from the Marvel TV show fits this trope to a T. Every version of Batman is a knight in sour armor, regardless of which iteration it is, but most of the time, Jim Gordon will be right up there alongside Batman as a knight in sour armor. The only difference is that they're on opposite sides of the law. Two perfect examples of this trope can be found in Sandor Clegane, aka The Hound, and Tyrion Lannister from Game of Thrones. A third perfect example can be found in Geralt of Rivia from The Witcher. Another really good model of this trope is Professor Snape from Harry Potter. There's also Wolverine from X-Men, Edward Elric from Full Metal Alchemist, Will Somerset from Seven, Garrus Vicarian from the Mass Effect trilogy, and even characters like James Bond, Rambo, and Dirty Harry fit this trope. Most of the surviving champions of the Hunger Games, like Katniss Everdeen, Haymitch, Joanna, and Finnick, qualify as knights in sour armor. Tommy Lee Jones has a history of playing characters that fit this trope, like Kay from Men in Black, and Sheriff Bell from No Country for Old Men. Some honorable mentions are Stephen Hyde from That 70s Show, and Puddle Glum, the Marshwiggle, from the Chronicles of Narnia, The Silver Chair. Even Shrek counts as an example of this trope. If you want to learn more about the knight in sour armor archetype, go ahead and take a look at the TV Tropes website, where they have a whole library of knowledge dedicated to tropes and archetypes within storytelling. If you're interested in learning more about writing techniques, go ahead and subscribe so that you can get notified when I post a new video. Leave a comment down below and list off any characters who you think might fit into the knight in sour armor archetype. Don't forget to like this video and I will catch you guys next time.